What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mikey Lopez. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I think the last time I did it was probably a month or a month and a half or two or ago. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been crazy. It's been a uh, good time. A um, lot of a lot of good days, bad days. Uh, mostly good days, I guess. Uh, throughout this since the last video, um, and one of the leaves fell off. My wife's gonna be mad. Oh well, that sucks. For that birds of paradise tree that we have in, in inside the apartment. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been it's been good and. The past uh, month, I've been working hard, working hard, um, yeah, working hard a lot, and uh, I've been doing a lot of things. Been been running, been uh, kind of strengthening my my Achilles, my calf, and uh, yeah, it's been good. Uh, the last last week, uh, we had it was testing week, um, and it was it's kind of crazy because uh, just seeing the data and seeing the results from last week, it, it's. It's funny because it, I guess, I don't know if it's a testament to how much I've been working mainly on my left foot uh, compared to my right, but a lot of the tests where I am showing results where my left uh, leg is faster, stronger um, than in some tests, faster and stronger than, than my right leg and then others where I'm really, really close to being even. Um, there is one test that we did that uh, there's like the biggest, that was the biggest difference that I, I saw between my right and my leg and, and my left. Um, my right one was better, um, which was the, the vertical, single leg vertical, but it was within it, this past time it fell within the 10% range. So it, like, I'm, I'm good. That was the only one, like that was, I guess the one, the most, it was like seven and a half to 8% difference and everywhere else, the other tests was like I said, my left was either better than my right or it was like within 1% where my right one was better than my my left. Um, but yeah, it was. A, I was really pleased with that because I had done um, the exact same testing as a practice test like two weeks before. And uh, the, the vert was the one that I, had, that I struggled with at that time. Um, I was like, I think I fell in the... 12 to 14 percent um and the highest that i got was like seven and a half inches that time for my left leg and last week i got up to like 8.6 i think so it shows that i was that i improved in in two weeks uh which is always good um that i got stronger in within the two weeks and i got that that force better and improved um and and yeah i, I did so it was good. Um, I, I did all these testings and, and stuff so I can get the results and data because today was my six month, um, six month appointment. Although six months was technically September 29th. So maybe like a week and a couple of days or a week and a day ago. Um, but, but yeah, uh, I wanted to have all these, these results because, uh, like I said, at the beginning of the journey like i wanted to push hard and, and and work hard within uh within the parameters that i was given and be able to to try and uh be back to playing this season um and that's why with all this testing that we did last week i, I was gonna be able to to do that and i had to fall within everything every test within 10 percent of each other like the difference between the right and the left leg and I wanted to show the doctor that um, my Achilles was strong enough and 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 good enough to be able to to progress into the next uh, next phase of of this recovery, pretty much. And and I just needed to show him that I was good and and I was gonna kind of put it on put it on him to either pass or or clear me or not clear me. Um, so that was the the reason why we started doing all these tests and. Um, I was kind of going in to, into today with the mentality of probably not getting cleared because it was too soon. Um, but I think the, the test, the test results that I gave him uh, showed that I, my leg, my leg and my, my calf, my Achilles, my left um, one that is strong enough and good enough to, to be able to progress. So um, I got cleared today, which is amazing. Um, it's been a long journey. 
Uh, you guys have been with me throughout this journey for, for most of it. Uh, I've obviously been kind of sl uh, slacking the past month and a half, but um, you guys were with me throughout the, the beginnings of it. And, and that was for sure the toughest part. Um, but, but yeah, and it's, it's, it's been good. Um, I like be getting clear today was, was amazing. So hopefully that allowed me to start training with the team and start kind of progressing that into like from non-contact to contact stuff, uh, within the next few weeks. And hopefully that could kind of push me into contention for, for the final game, hopefully, uh, being at least being able to dress and, and travel with the team. Um, I would love to dress. I would most likely not be able to play um, at all. No, not most likely. For sure, I wouldn't be able to play because I haven't trained fully um, for this next home game, which is our last home game. But um, I'd be okay with <laughs> with uh, making it towards the la to the last game of the season and being able to dress. But but yeah, it's gonna be. It'll be difficult. Um, it'll be tough to to try and get into the eighteen um, because. Uh, since we're kind of towards the end of the season, yeah, everybody is either hitting their peak or just like at the the top um, performance wise, everyone's going to be there and I'll be kind of starting from the beginning and kind of behind everybody. So, um, but I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about that nervous. Uh, I know that I'm going to push myself and, and work my, my ass off to try and get into uh, get to as close as uh, as where everybody else is at. Um, so uh, yeah, it, it'll be it'll be a tough uh, couple of weeks to try and get into the eighteen, uh, the uh, last uh, games of the season. But um, I mean, I've been determined, and you guys have seen that from the very beginning uh, of this this injury rehab uh, journey. And and I know that I, I'll, I'll keep pursuing pursuing that and pushing that the way I have been um, this whole time. So it'll be it'll be interesting and hopefully I can uh, make it uh, get into into one of the uh, into the squads um, for one of these games and, and yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, man, it's been uh, it's been crazy. It's been interesting uh, just going throughout through this whole thing. Um, I've learned a lot from myself. I hope you guys have have seen uh, me evolve from the beginning um and hopefully this helps someone else that's probably going through the same journey that i am and i, I hope i pray that nobody does have to go through the same journey that I, I have but if you do i i hope that you guys can can gain some knowledge and some advice from what i've been through um because it's not it's not easy it's not easy but it's definitely possible and there's a at the beginning, I, I definitely did not see the light at the end of the tunnel, um, and I I didn't I had struggled mightily with a lot of different things going through my head if I was gonna be able to come back, uh, not only this season but just come back in general. Um, but uh, the uh, the brain's a, a crazy crazy thing, and if you can overcome those fears and thoughts, like you'll you'll be able to get get through it and. Uh, and uh, I've definitely gone through it. Am I there yet? No, um, I'm not at the light, but I definitely do see the light um, at the end of the tunnel. And I think the the moment when I do, or when I, I'll say that I have, I made it to the light is when I'm able to uh, dress up and, and wear the uniform and step onto the field um, in a game. But until then, I, I'm still gonna be attacking each day and, and pursuing pursuing that light and uh, I hope to be able to to reach that uh, sooner rather than later um, but if it's not it doesn't happen this season then it'll for sure happen next season but um, so yeah I'm not I'm not too worried about that um, obviously I want to do it <laughs> I want to do it this season just to prove myself that I could uh, and I can um, but we'll see um, but yeah I mean I hope that my journey has has taught a lot of you guys and um, anyone that is does get injured um, to be able to make it, you know. Um, so uh, I'm excited for what's to come. Uh, I appreciate it for everybody that has been um, supporting me throughout this way. And uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll continue to go and, and continue to work hard each day and, and, and hopefully 
get back uh, into the field. But but yeah, like today's been uh, a really important and and great day because I finally got cleared to to start that next phase of my rehab, um, going from non con like going into training fully, uh, and I'll just have to progress from non contact to to contact and hopefully get some fight for some uh, fight to be in contention to be to be uh, in the 18 um, sometime this season but uh, but yeah uh, I'll try to be better now that I'm like I'm fully back it's been kind of difficult just with how much I've been working and 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 just being like tired of like mentally and physically uh, with all the rehab stuff this past uh, month and a half because I've kind of ramped it up a little a uh, lot to be able to get to this point today um, but I'll try to to do some some more videos uh, now that I'm fully cleared and fully will be training um, it's been it's been a fun journey um, uh, I guess fun more recently than than the beginning but uh it's been good and uh it's been it's been good with with that with coaching and and it's been a great great experience so far um in the past few months with with everything that's going on in my life um but yeah uh, i'll try to now that i like like i said now that i'll start training I'll, I'll try to get some some videos on on the boots that i've been wearing um i know the boots that i've been wearing are probably have been out for a while and a lot of people have been either have seen them i've already worn them and already know the uh the feeling of of those boots but I'll, I'll do my best to to review them um and just give you guys my opinions on on the boots that i have at the moment and uh and hopefully i can get some more uh <laughs> get some more boots i'll probably have to wait till for next season but get some more boots and 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 review those but but yeah um like i said a great day today um finally cleared and hopefully we can make the next steps and, and keep pushing on and hopefully get back on the field this year and and see what's next. But uh but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for, for uh being following the journey and I hope to see you guys continue following my journey as I get to the next phase of, of my rehab and, and get closer to the end of the season and all season and stuff. So um thank you and uh, yeah, nos vemos Rasa. Peace.